So the biodigester system is actually quite simple. You can think of it like the stomach of a cow. Uh, raw material goes in. Inside, basically all the work is done by bacteria. The oldest form of life on Earth is a single cell bacteria that actually evolved before there was free oxygen. So it lives in this environment, breaking down the organic waste, and its only byproduct is methane gas. And so that gas is what we capture. And uh, in very, very simple, um, tubing, we can run it straight to someone's home so that they can cook or we can run it into an engine to produce mechanical or electrical energy. And the byproduct is basically now all that same organic material, but in its purest form, broken down into the raw nutrients that can be used as a fertilizer. Anything that smells bad is basically a good opportunity for us to make a radical change. That uh, smell is an, an inefficiency. You don't, you would never find that smell in nature because uh, something would have already moved in to take care of that waste. And so what we do is basically go to places that smell bad and we make them not smell bad anymore and turn all that waste into a resource that can be used. Our original work uh, was in Mexico, which is this amazing laboratory. There's all these different climates, all these different farm types and we basically realized from there that we could work all around the world. And so developing countries are predominantly agrarian still. There's probably on the order of about 400 million farmers. So that's on the order of about 2 billion people. About one in three people today actually work in farming and could be impacted by this. So we could radically change the food system. We could radically change the way that people fertilize their farms, take care of the soil and power their homes.